Hey everybody, Artistry is me here, and I'm back today with another candle review for you guys. Um, this candle review is a little bit different. I guess you guys will notice that I have a cup of tea sitting here, as you can see, and I have the uh, maker or the brand of the tea sitting next to the cup of tea, and the reason for that is... I want to get into more than just candle reviews and I thought maybe a tea time review kind of thing would be nice. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Maybe uh, candle light and tea time or something like that. I don't know. Maybe that's corny, but we'll see. But anyway, the reason um, for this is because I love teas. I love coffee. I love hot chocolate. Um, you know, pretty much any type of hot beverage cider that's one of the reasons I love fall and winter because I drink more of it I love it so much that I put up a little coffee bar in my house but that's another story but uh, with that being said I love those types of drinks so much that I like trying different um, you know variations and different brands and different flavors of teas and coffees and etc. So today when I was at my local Target I found Celestial Seasonings and this is called Sugar Cookie. Okay. Now I have to tell you guys this tea is the I think this is by far the best tasting tea that I have ever tasted in my life. When I say that this tea tastes like a sugar cookie, it tastes exactly like a sugar cookie. I have no idea how they were able to capture the actual butter flavor as well as the, it has a really strong vanilla flavor and almost like a hint of caramel to it. But, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of speechless because it is a really, really good tea. I've had teas before, you know, that were flavored teas and they're supposed to taste like something, you know, and it doesn't have that strong of a flavor or it really doesn't, but Celestial Seasonings hit it right on the nose. So, you know, with my candle reviews and uh, candle lights, kind of like a relaxing type thing so what better way to relax than with a cup of tea or something hot right okay so I'm not gonna stay on this too long but I did want to recommend it because there's been plenty of times we're in I was on YouTube and I can't can't count the number of times that I've gone out and purchased something just because I saw it on YouTube even down to a box of tea or a um, pack of coffee so to my coffee drinkers or tea lovers out there, this may be a new segment that I do, you know, to incorporate um, new things into my channel. But if you're in the area of a Target, try to stop in there and pick up the sugar cookie. It's fabulous. I feel sorry for people who live in my area because I'll probably buy them out. <laughs> but anyway, let me get to... Oops. Let me get to the video because I don't want this to be extra long so I'm just gonna go ahead and get to the review okay let's move this to the side there we go and as you can see I have cranberry woods burning here in the background which is a really nice scent you know Bath and Body Works they come out with that one every year I can't tell you when it exactly came out but I've always overlooked it so this year I finally decided to go ahead and try it and I must say I never knew that it had notes of cinnamon in it. I always think of cranberry as being like a really tart fragrance so it's not something that I generally go for. Um, but it would be nice if they mix uh, more cranberries with like the cider notes. You always have apple cider. I know Yankee came out with the pomegranate cider but um, it would be nice if they, you know, mix cranberry with more cinnamon and nutmeg and clove type notes. So, surprisingly, I like this scent. Um, it wasn't really that tart. You got a little bit of spiciness and fruit in it, but um, I really like this one. It had a really good throw. Look at me. I'm rambling about the candle. It's not finished, but I'm already reviewing it, but whatever. But uh, <laughs> can Cranberry Woods, that's a really 
really good one. And as you guys can see, it's burning really, really nicely. I don't know if I can really... Okay. Sometimes these glass jars get really hot. But as you can see, it's burning really good. And the wicks are high. So I'm not having any problems. No tunneling. So that's Cranberry Woods. And I finished up another Bath and Body Works candle. And that is Pumpkin Cupcake. Pumpkin Cupcake was a really, really good fragrance. As you can see, it burned really nice and even. Quite a bit of wax, but not unusual for Bath and Body Works. As far as the throw, I would say that this was a strong throw. I didn't have any problems with it. As far as the fragrance goes, um, you definitely got the notes of like vanilla and butter for the um for the frosting portion but then you really got those nice uh spicy notes of the pumpkin and let me read you guys the scent description it says the perfect pick from the corner bakery this fall a spiced pumpkin cupcake with rich buttercream and frosted ginger yep that hit it right on the nose so pumpkin cupcake from bath and body works if you uh, find this at your local Bath & Body Works, I would suggest that you get it. They did have this last year, came back this year, so hopefully it'll come back again next year. Okay, so that was Pumpkin Cupcake. The next review I have for you guys, it doesn't have a package on it, but this is by Glade. And this was in the Salted Caramel. I have just a little bit of soot. But as you can see, it burned all the way down. I really don't have that much wax in the jar. But this was a really good one. As far as the scent throw, it was it was strong. And I would give this definitely a 10. For this to be such a, you know, small candle. What is this? Maybe about, I believe this is a 4 ounce jar. Glade candles don't cost that much, maybe about $3, $3.50 or something like that. But you still want to get, you know, your money's worth. But I definitely got my money's worth out of this. Salted caramel was really, really good. Um, <clears throat> I was excited about this scent because I know Yankee came out with the salted caramel this year. So it gave me a chance to, you know, compare another brand but not spend a whole lot of money on it. I haven't brought uh, Yankee's Salted Caramel yet in a full-size jar, but I believe I have it in a um, Votive, which I'm going to try. So I'm going to try and see and compare the two because Glade is really stepping their game up with their fragrances. They're definitely uh, stronger than what I personally remember them being some years ago. As far as the fragrance for the Salted Caramel, it's just a really, really sweet uh, caramel. If you're not a bakery scent person um, or a person who likes really sweet scents, then this isn't the candle for you. But for all my uh, candle lovers who like really sweet bakery scents, then this is a really, really nice scent. Um, like I said, you get that really, I don't know about the salt, but you definitely get that caramel. Um, it has a really rich note to it. So, this is only out for a limited time for the fall. So, if you see it, I would suggest get it. And that is Salt to Caramel by Bath & Body Works. The next scent that I have for you guys is by Mainstays. And this is just their dollar jar. And this is in Pumpkin Spice. I don't generally buy Mainstays products like that. Um... But um, when I smelled this on a cold throw in the store, it was really, really strong. So I said, why not give it a try? Um, as far as the burn, as you can see, it burned really, really evenly. Didn't have any problems with the wick, which is good because, you know, hey, it was only a dollar. So that's really good. I had a three wick in this before and it didn't burn too well. So... The one wick did really, really well. As far as the scent throw, I just put this in my uh, bathroom, and this did really, really well. It was nice and strong. You definitely got some 
pie uh, crust notes in there. You definitely got the spiciness, um, you know, from the spice, from the pumpkin spice. This was, I would say, about, yeah, definitely a medium to strong throw in the bathroom. Would I purchase this again? Yeah, actually, this is, I believe, my... Well, I told you I bought a three wick of it, but I believe this is the second uh, dollar, you know, mini candle that I've gone through. And I will buy more of these throughout the fall season because you can't beat a dollar, you know, for some scent in your bathroom. So, again, that's Pumpkin Spice by Mainstays. And to me, you know, it's a general pumpkin spice scent, but for a dollar, it's worth it. So, that's Mainstays. And the next scent I have for you is just a votive. And this is in pumpkin butter. And this is a wood wick candle. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see that down there, but has the little um, wooden wick in there. But this is the wood wick candle. Of course, it's a votive, so I really didn't have any problems with the burn. Um, as far as the scent throw, this had a really nice scent, basically... To me, it kind of smells like when you get into the pumpkin scents, it's kind of hard, you know, to distinguish each of them. You know, pumpkin spice, spice pumpkin, unless it has something, you know, that's really different in it, like apple or something like that. Generally, the pumpkin scents tend to smell kind of the same to me, like pumpkin, vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, those type of scents. Um... But this was a really nice scent. If they, if I find it in a large jar, I'll buy it. But this was pumpkin butter. And I believe I probably got this in a clearance section at um, Bad Bath & Beyond that last year. And I came across it uh, in my closet. And I said, well, let me just go ahead and burn it. So again, that was Woodwick's pumpkin butter. That's a really nice scent. So if you see it in a larger jar, I'd recommend buying it. The next one I have... I didn't realize that was back there, but an another mainstays, and this is in lemon cake. Burned this a while ago and kind of forgot about it. Had the jar stashed. Um, I burned this in the summertime. Like I said, the mainstays, these mini candles, they burn pretty good. I don't have any problems with them, as you can see. Really doesn't have any soot. So I will say that that's good about these candles um same thing this was a dollar as far as the scent throw this was a, this was definitely lighter than the pumpkin spice so i would give this a um you know it was like a mild to medium um throw it wasn't overly strong i put this in the powder room as far as the scent it smelled just like a lemon cupcake basically like lemon and buttercream and vanilla and sugar basically that's what this was they had this in the spray as well as a three wick in the mainstays i came across it maybe about two months ago they still had some at walmart but as far as right now i don't know if you can still get the scent it may be some still lingering around but i would say try it in this size first maybe put it in the bathroom it's only a dollar see how you like it and then if you like it buy a bigger jar so again that's lemon cake by mainstays and the next one I have for you guys is by a vendor that I'm loving and this is by Tiffany candles and the scent for this is carrot cake this was the uh, small mason jar and I believe this is maybe like a four ounce Let's see if I can take the top off so you can see inside um I had a little for this to be a small candle I will admit that I had some tunneling issues with this candle and the um flames being low at some points as you, you can see right there like where it didn't quite burn all the way down on the sides but other than that, the scent was really, really nice. This was an unusual carrot cake for me. I'm going to smell it just so I can get this right. I should have went on the, um, on the website and got the scent 
scent description for you guys, and I'm sorry that I didn't, but um, this is definitely um, a spicy carrot cake, but what was different for me is that I believe it has some orange notes in there. If I'm not mistaken, there's, there's a citrus note in there, and when I read the scent description before I brought it, I knew that it was a little different, you know, than a general uh, carrot cake would be. Because I also has Yankees, I also have Yankees carrot cake, and these two are very different from each other. Um, I had this in my bathroom, I believe I had it in my bedroom, and I also tried it in my living room. And in the living room, I, I was surprised for the flame not to be that strong. I could actually smell it, so I wondered, you know, what it would be like. I wish I could have found out what it would be like if it had a really really strong flame because I'm sure it would have been you know nice and strong so again this is Tiffany Candles Carrot Cake if you guys don't know who she is I would suggest checking out her website she has really um you know nice candles and uh as well as tarts uh you know wax melts and she has a ton I mean a ton of different fragrances so, if you're looking for a new vendor, try out Tiffany Candles. Okay, trying to move it along here. And the next one I have is by Yankee Candle. And this one is in Crisp Apple Strudel. As you can see, I didn't bother cleaning the jar up. I had some soot. I don't believe I used an Illumilid. Um, with this in the end but it did pretty well I don't have that much wax in there as far as the scent throw uh, I was disappointed in this candle a lot of people you know like it and you know I read a lot of reviews on it but as far as the um, as far as the scent throw to me it I really couldn't even smell it. I, I mean, I was that disappointed because I had two candles and I ended up taking the other one back. I was really disappointed. At one point, I thought I had a dud, so I started burning the second candle that I had. And then when I really couldn't smell that one either, I said, okay, I'm going to have to take it back to the store. So, I'm a little disappointed. Will I ever try it again? I don't know, maybe, because I want to like it. But it just didn't have a strong enough scent throw for me. And I switched it from the kitchen to the living room to the bedroom. Um, I would even shut the door, you know, in the bedroom sometimes. And then try to walk in and see if I could smell it. Not at all. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But maybe it's just my nose. But I just really, you know, couldn't smell this fragrance that much. Um... On a cold throat, you know, it smelled really nice. You got that really fresh, uh, sweet tartness from the apples. Um, to me, it didn't really have a strong crust note, but you did get the crisp uh, and sweet tartness from the apples and some of the spices. Not heavy on the spices, but they were there. So again, that's Yankee Candle, and this is a uh, treasure. So unless they bring it back, you they had it last year, so I don't know if they're going to bring it back this year. I doubt it. But unless you find it at like an outlet or unless they bring it back, then it can be hard to find the crisp apple strudel. And last but not least is by Village Candle, and this is Caramel almond cookie as you can see it burned really really well I hardly have any wax in there I mean it is pretty much all gone and I let this burn too long as you can see it's black in there and then I got a little bit of soot on the side but I mean the wax is almost gone as far as the scent throw on this when I first brought the candle I had it in my kitchen when I first lit these candles. What I noticed about Village Candles sometimes is that they're really, really strong when they first start out. But then sometimes the wicks can start dying out, so which causes the scent throw to be less. But with this one, 
this did pretty good. This was a pretty good one. Like I said, it was strong in the beginning and then it kind of let up. But boy, once it got maybe to, I want to say, not even a quarter of a way, a little more than half. I didn't have any problems with the rest of the burn all the way down and the throw was strong. And it was a really nice scent. You could get the almond, you could get the caramel. It's, it smelled just like what it said, a caramel apple. I'm sorry, a caramel almond cookie. So it smelled like a sugar cookie, you know, with almond in it. And I love almond. I love almond scents. I actually had a Yankee candle that I started burning called almond cookie. So to me, it kind of smelled like that, but just with notes of caramel in it, which was really nice. So this I purchased, I believe, at my local giant because they carry uh, village candles. Somebody said that they wouldn't be carrying them anymore. I, I mean, I don't frequent there to buy them. I just brought this, this there because they had a sale at one point because they're more expensive. I usually get them out of like Marshalls, Home Goods, and TJ Maxx. But um, <clears throat> I believe they still carry this scent on their website. So if you can't find it at, you know, your local, uh, you know, like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, things of that sort, then you can always go online and purchase this candle. And I believe it retails at about $18.99. So again, that's Village Candle Caramel Almond Cookie. Alrighty, just going to put that back. So that is the end of my review. Again, you guys, you have to try Sugar Cookie Sleigh Ride by Celestial Seasonings. Is that right? Yep. I don't want to be wrong on YouTube, but <laughs> this is a nice herbal tea and it's caffeine free and it's really, really good. So... I hope you all had a wonderful day. I thank you for tuning into my channel. Don't forget to rate and subscribe and happy melting. Bye you guys.